All right, two, it's right here. I did not film this yesterday because I left my freaking camera in the wrong vehicle. Anyway, I did a tune-up on a 06 Chrysler, Chrysler, Chrysler Pacifica. I also replaced the um, crankshaft position sensor. And I didn't want to do neither one. Especially the tune-up because um, I had to lift up the intake and I don't like it when I have to lift up the intake. But I went inside, I watched the video and lifting up the intake wasn't really that bad. I mean, it really wasn't. It's, it's a lot of stuff you got to unhook. Um, make sure you don't, make sure you don't forget the dipstick, the oil dipstick, it has, I think it's an eight millimeter bolt that's hooked into the bottom of the, um, well, the side of the um, intake. I took every one out except for that and I went to lift up on it and it wouldn't move. And I felt down and I felt the bolt. You, um, on the driver's side of the intake, or you can say the back of the motor, well, the driver's side of the motor. We just say the driver's side of the motor, which is the back of the motor. But anyway, there's a um, there's a there's a a thing that holds up a wiring harness, and it sticks into the back of the intake, and it looks almost like you can't get it out. Oh, I shouldn't have did that on video. But hell, I used the shirt. Anyway, um. It looks like it's glued in that you can't move it. But if you take a small screwdriver or something and kind of move it, you can stick a um, body, what do you call it, a, a trim panel remover. You know, it's sort of kind of like a two. It looks like a pitchfork, but it's two. You know, you slide it behind stuff, you pull the plastic. But it looks like it won't fit because it's so snug up against the intake. I mean, it's like flush. But if you take a screwdriver or whatever and move it a little bit, you can slide the um, body panel move up in there. It pops right out then. Uh, what else? The intake, the, oh, the EGR. Fucking EGR. It sticks up in the fucking intake probably about that far. And it's hard to, it's, you can't push it back because it's a brace that goes down by the exhaust manifold. I tried to use a wrench to loosen it, but it was a shield or something, I think, covering it. I couldn't see it. I could just feel back there. So basically, I just lifted up the intake to a point and then slid the intake towards the front of the car off of the EGR pipe. But like I said, the intake, I mean, at first you're going to say, man, this intake's a bitch. But the intake ain't, ain't gonna be the bitch. I'm gonna tell you what the bitch is. The bitch ain't gonna even, it's gonna surprise you. You know how you're working on the car and it happens a lot with Jim. I'll say, and I've heard somebody else say it too. I would like to meet the engineer so I can kick him in the nuts. <laughs> well, I'm serious. The motherfucker who designed the coil packs on that damn 3.5, somebody need to kick him in the nuts. It's got two screws holding the coil pack. Two screws. What the hell you need two screws for? On top of that, the damn screws are, I guess you can call them captured. You can't unscrew one screw all the way. If you do, it'll crack the damn, it'll, it'll crack the mountain thing or whatever. So you have to sit there, unscrew this, unscrew that, unscrew this, unscrew that, all the way out. You got to put the motherfucker back in the same way. Man, that's crazy. You know, most of the time you can just, you know, stick the damn coil pack down as far as you can, put a bolt in, and you're done with it, right? Mm -mm. So, I, I'm, I mean, that that's really what kicked my ass. Was, and you had six coil packs. Six coils or whatever. That's what kicked my ass. The intake really wasn't that bad. The, the um, crankshaft positioning sensor wasn't that bad. I mean, all you have to do is remove the battery. 
uh, you lift up the battery and there's three bolts that hold the battery base down. You might as well go ahead and remove the battery base because you probably have some dirt and gunk like the car worked on. There's a drain, there's a drain hole in the bottom of the battery box and it's got a little tube that runs down to the bottom of the car someday where I had to clean that out. And oh, this tripped me out. There's a freaking vacuum line that goes to the bottom of the battery box. I'm like, what the hell is this for? When I, when I pulled it off, I heard air shoot out. It's a vacuum reservoir for something. I don't know what it is. I mean, what it's for, but it's a vacuum reservoir. Uh, but I kind of thought that was kind of neat of Chrysler to put it up under the battery box. But um, that was kind of neat. But yeah, if you remove the battery, it's a lot easier to get to that damn crankshaft sensor. And it's not really that difficult because, be honest with you, when I I, I, I charged the lady a hundred bucks to do the tune-up and change the crankshaft position sensor. By the way, she had a cold 335 for that, a cold 300 for a random misfire, and she had some other colds that she have always had before. Um, she don't have the money to fix it, but anyway. Uh, it's running. Oh, by the way, what it was doing, she said it was um, jumping. She said it never stalled, but it was jumping. She said somebody, if she drove it at light throttle, it ran okay. That nigga look like a damn bitch the way he got his hair fixed. But anyway, um, the car's running better now. The plugs wasn't worn down. But it's like they had freaking warts on the side of the plug, you know? Deposit or some shit, brown looking deposits. But um, I'm sorry to make a video. I wish I didn't make a video, but I left my freaking camera in this car. And I drove the Tahoe because the Tahoe has all my tools in. So I really hate that. I was gonna make it with my phone, but the goddamn phone, I hate my phone. I fucking hate my phone. But I did have to use it. That's how I found the damn screw um, that hooks to the uh, dipstick. But anyway, that's all this video is about is that I, I hate like hell I didn't make it. What is wrong with this motherfucker keep hitting the brakes? <sighs> Intelligent black people, I gotta go. Y'all have a good day.